Meet Cotty. Cotty is an hourglass, which means if Cotty were to eat a figure eight Danish, it would be uniformly buttered along her entire undulating frame. She has a bountiful bust, a generous hip, and a much smaller waist joining the two. Now, when we think about hourglass, we usually think, well, isn't that the ideal? Life must be perfect for them. Fairies and unicorns probably help them get dressed every morning. It must be so easy. But the truth is, in return for winning the genetic lottery, they get to follow two sets of guidelines, both an upper figures guidelines and the lower figures guidelines, because these girls were not made to be a clothes hanger. We need to make sure we clasp rather than cloak every single inch of them. One of the important things we need to make note of is a lot of times if we have the shirt fitting across the bust, it's going to be billowing around the waist. If it's fitting through the seat and the thighs, it's gonna be gapping around the back. And so we need to do a lot of careful research in finding things that make her figure outlined and perfectly silhouette. Cotty clasped in all the right places. We have a medium weight spandex blend, which ensures we have proper give and take across the hourglass landscape. Now we can apply patterns in a strategic manner to draw attention to the waist and stretch out the torso, but especially with generous curves, care should be taken not to over decorate the situation. They have what everyone else is trying to counterfeit. They own it. And so all we need to do is outline. Continuing down on that outline, we have a great straight leg denim, and it's a great long lean black line. But one of the most important features on hers is it has an angled yoke. The angled yoke and a higher rise in the back ensures that we have a secure grip along the entire narrowness of her waist so that we aren't getting any gapping or any bulges across the front. to a more formal look for Cotty. Here, we are using a dress, which is what an hourglass body was made for. They invented the dress for the hourglass body because they have a bust measurement that is within two inches of their hip measurement, and they have the same size on top as on bottom, so the dress works perfectly for an hourglass figure. The important thing is we wanna find a dress that has a strong defined waistband so that we're always drawing bad attention to that core. We can showcase the lovely bosom, we can showcase the curvy hip, but we need to make sure that we have the differentiation here in the middle. If you do pick up a dress that doesn't have all those qualities, what you need to do is apply belts because belts are like duct tape. They just fix everything. You just cinch it right in on there, put a sash on there, and that's gonna take care of it. But this one, it already has the ruching and everything built in perfectly. Then we've applied the sweater here. It's the very lightweight knit, which means that we're not adding any extra fuss or frills. We're just making sure we're keeping that nice clean silhouette across the body. Mm -hmm. 